this property, the square root of tension times mass density of the string, is called the impedance of the string. And it is um, a fundamental property of the string. So just like mass density and tension come together to tell you the velocity of a wave in the string, the velocity that's also a fundamental property of the string, you can combine them a different way and you get this thing called the impedance. So the impedance, usually labeled Z, one way to think of it is it is the resistance to transverse motion. If I hold the end of a string and launch a wave, I have to do work on the string. I have to apply a force over a distance as I move it. Because a wave is a propagation of energy through a medium, so that energy has to come from somewhere. I did work. I have to apply a force to the string to launch a wave. And this is exactly the force. The force that I apply is proportional to the velocity that I move the end of the string, and this is the proportionality constant. It's just this times the y, the transverse velocity of, of my hand. So that's really what it means when I say resistance to motion. It's how hard you have to push um, to get a wave going. The impedance also describes uh, vertical forces in the string. So rather than thinking about launching a wave from the end with my hand, you can also think within the string itself. This is how you figure out what is the force at some interface or any little plane inside the string. So now you can see why we derived it if we have our small string, Z1 equals the square root of tension times mu1, and it suddenly becomes a large string, Z2 equals the square root of the tension times mu2. This is how we understand the interface because the forces must balance. At the interface. Because if they didn't, the string would be ripped in half, right? Right at this interface, if it, the forces in the y weren't perfect, there's no mass, infinite acceleration, the string rips, all kinds of bad things happen. But if it's gonna remain a nice little continuum, those forces have to balance. And that's how we calculate what's going to happen at that interface. <clears throat>